Hi, I'm Sheila Keeter. I am the teacher for inclusion and I am here to do another video about Teachers Pay Teachers. I just started um, a couple of weeks ago and I've done a few videos so far and I haven't really introduced myself. Um, I am a teacher. I've been a teacher for 14 years and about a year ago I retired myself. I didn't retire, but I retired myself from the classroom and I've been working at Teachers Pay Teachers ever since. Um, my store has been fairly successful and it's been a lot of work. I have put in sometimes 12 hour days, but um, it's really starting to pay off. It's been six months and I thought that I would share the things that I learned with you. I'm not going to go over all of the beginning basics because there's a lot of videos already out there, really great videos um, that, that cover that and you've probably already seen those. So I'm going to start with, or I'm going to continue with search engine optimization today. But before I get started, I thought I would share a little story. Um, I decided to cover a learning lab last week. And in the learning lab, teachers are on Zoom and they're teaching. And I, I thought it might help me to just kind of see what teachers are teaching and um, how students are learning again, because there's this whole new lens that I have now that I'm that I've been sharing resources on Teachers Pay Teachers. And so I'm in the learning lab and this teacher comes in just fuming angry and starts yelling at this kid. And then she leaves the room, comes back in and is fuming and screaming at him again. And then she leaves. I kid you not, this is what happened. He wasn't listening to her, he took his his headgear off and he stopped listening to her and she was saying his name. She got so angry that she went to the learning lab to take it out on him, to yell at him. And like I said, she left, came back in and yelled at him some more. And it just made me realize that I'm so happy and I, I look up and commend all of the teachers who are working with Zoom. I think that's an extreme situation and most people don't do that or talk to students in that manner, but um, seems like it's really tough out there. And I know that on the news, we hear a lot like teachers won't go back to work as if teachers are just sitting around and I know that's not the case. Anyhow, um, so let's go ahead and get started back with, back to the topic at hand, which is search engine optimization. And today I'm just gonna show you a very simple trick because sometimes with these videos and these long explanations, it can get really overwhelming. So I have just a very quick, easy tip and trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And you'll see here, we're just looking at a basic page, a search engine page, okay? so. We wanna start with what are called broad keywords and broad keywords are basically subjects. So essay would be a broad keyword. Narrative essay would be a broad keyword because it really doesn't give any details about what we're specifically looking for. So you don't wanna name your products narrative essay or essay or essay lesson because no one is going to find you. So a little trick that I've learned is if you plug in your broad keywords into a search engine, just like this one. So we have narrative essay in there. I'm just going to go ahead and search. Once you hit search, you'll just scroll down and you will find what are called long tail keywords. And long tail keywords are specific keywords that people are typing into the search engine to find a specific answer. So we look at, okay, what are the steps to writing a narrative essay? What are some good topics for a narrative essay? How to write an amazing narrative essay? How to write a good narrative essay in the MLA style? Now, how could you turn that into a topic for a product for TPT? Well, you can use strings of these long tail keywords. So if you look at the last one, how to write a good narrative essay in the MLA style, 
you could write narrative essay in the MLA style because we all have our essays in MLA style. If you don't, then you've been living under a rock. So every English teacher does essays in MLA style at K through 12. You could also write topics for a narrative essay. So if you wanted to tailor a product to a search um, question that people are asking, you could do that. You could even title it amazing narrative essay. Um, I probably wouldn't, but I think narrative essay in the MLA style would be a great long tail keyword for you to use. Let's try another one. Let's put in, let's see, mentor sentence. Now, this is a tough one because mentor is used in so many different contexts. So we scroll down, it says people also ask, how to use the word mentor in a sentence? No. How to use mentor in a sentence? No. What is the adjective for mentor? No. So that won't work. So you have to really play around with this and it takes some time, but it is the easiest way that I have seen um, people use search engine optimization. And I wanted to give you just a quick tip today. So let's try use mentor sentence. And if you look up there as you're typing, you can see what question, nope, no one's asking that. Use mentorship in a sentence, no. Let's try how to, how to, oh, there we go. How to teach students using mentor sentences. Now you could title a product, teach students using mentor sentences but we can also click on it and scroll down and see how do mentor sentences work? What is a mentor sentence? What is the rule of selecting mentor sentences? Why do I love using mentor sentences? That would be a great blog topic. So um, for this one, I think we would stick with the original that we saw as we were typing in, which is how to teach students using mentor sentences. Some of these sound awkward, at times, and some of them even have um, shortcuts and leave words out. But if you want to get your product found, you have to use words that people are searching for. And if they're not searching for your perfectly sound product, then you're just not going to sell anything. So this is just a really simple way to look for long tail keywords for products and also for, for blog titles. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.